Okay, friends, I am back, and this is really simple to make, and it makes a beautiful little gift. So, this is called the Saltine Toffee Candy. And for starters, you're going to need two or one cup, two sticks of butter, one cup of butter. Um, you're going to need two cups of chocolate chips. You're going to need one cup of uh, packed brown sugar, dark, preferably dark brown sugar, uh, three quarters of a cup of pecans, and one sleeve of saltine crackers. And of course, a tray to put it on and a pan to melt the butter in, or to make the toffee. So, that's what we start with. And first thing we're going to do, I have to move this back. So, first thing we're going to do is turn our burner on to just, just low. You don't want to burn your butter. And my butter is right out of the fridge. Doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be soft, you know, because you're going to melt it anyway. You just don't want any paper left on it. And that's what I got on it is a piece of paper. There we go. There's one. Put that in your pan, in your saucepan. You're going to need a nice saucepan. You're going to bring this to a boil, and you're going to boil it for three minutes. So, well, that's, that's getting going. And then you're going to take your um, pow powdered sugar. Good Lord, I can't speak today. Your brown sugar. One cup of butter and one cup of brown sugar is going to go in here. You're going to get it melted, you're going to get it to boiling, and you're going to boil it for three minutes. So, in the meantime, I will show you what I do over here with my tray. We can set these aside. Now, there's your tray. You want your parchment paper on it. And we're just going to take these crackers and we're just going to start lining them on this tray like so. Okay? It's clo close together. You know, you want them to be... You don't want big, big spaces between them. I just pack them right tight together. And if you have to get more, you can always get more crackers. It, it won't matter. Unless you got to get, you know, unless you want to double the batch, that you can do. Okay. I'm just going to break these because that's what I always do. I just break them and put them in there so that they fit nicely. There. Good, good deal. That's done. And that is simple. Now in the meantime, I'm going to show you this. It's melting right there. I'm going to take my little, just start mixing this, break it up a little bit because it melts rather quick. It'll come to a boil pretty fast. Okay, so I will let this melt and bring it up to a boil, and then I will bring you back and show you that step. Because it's important that you get it all dissolved and it boils for three minutes. So, once that gets going, I'll be right back. Okay, friends, see, this is boiling. I just, before I turn the camera on, I set my timer for three minutes. And... I don't want it to burn. I want to steer it. I mean, you don't have to steer it constantly, but you you know you want it, want it steered up. You see, that's going to boil nicely. So I'm going to let that boil, 
and I'll be back in three minutes. Okay, you can see I just took it off the stove. It is still boiling a little bit. Not too much, but now we are going to dump it and spread it all over our cracker mixture. I'm going to scrape it all out of there because we don't want to leave nothing behind. Okay? Water right away. Okay, now, oh, look at that, it's already starting to set up. We want to smear this around so that everything is covered. All these crackers, you want them all covered. And you'll have enough. You'll have a plenty. Turn this around. Get this side real good. And then I got my oven set for 400. And it's going to go in a 400 degree oven for about 6 minutes. 5 to 6 minutes. But I always do 6 minutes. Okay. There is that. <clears throat> it is going to go in the oven now. I'm going to time it for six minutes. And three, four, five, six. And when that's done, we'll be back. Okay, friends, I am back. I'm going to take this out of the oven. There we have it. It looks beautiful. So now we are going to spread our two cups of chocolate chips that is and you can use dark chocolate milk chocolate you know the semi-sweet whatever you want I'm going to spread that all over the top of that in fact I'll just do like so okay now that's got to sit for see here for three minutes covered up so I'm going to take a piece of foil it's hot screaming hot so I'm just going to cover that up Ooh, that is hot so we'll be back in three minutes and check this out this is a roll of 200 square foot 200 square feet of aluminum foil. The Reynolds wrap is huge. These are like $10 a piece and at Myers they had buy one get one free. I very seldom use this because like everybody says you don't cook with aluminum foil because they've proven it can lead to dementia and Alzheimer's. So I always try to avoid it as much as possible but I will cover stuff up with it or use it in the freezer and such but anyway I got two for one. I couldn't believe it. I had to grab that. That will probably last me five years. Okay, so when that's done, in three minutes, let's set our timer. And when that is done, when the three minutes is up, I'll be back and I'll show you how the next step goes. Hey, <clears throat> this has been sitting here for three minutes. We're going to take that off there. And we are just going to smear, oh look at that, how melted that is. That is nice. We're just going to smear this all around. That is really nice. This makes a wonderful little gift. Okay. That is spread around. that in there. Put that down in the water. Okay, now we're going to take our pecans. You can use walnuts, you, you know, peanuts. Uh, it don't matter what you use. Just nuts of your, your preference. I like pecans. They go well with this. They pair really well with all this. And we're just going to spread that around.
Okay, there we are. There you have it, friends. Doesn't that look pretty? Okay, now this, you can just leave it sit, um, put it in your fridge. In cold places like where I'm at in Michigan, my sun porch is like a huge walk-in cooler in the winter. So I just set it out in my sun porch on top of my freezer, and I leave it there usually all night. And, you know, then in the morning I'll cut it up and do whatever. But this is it. I'm going to put mine out in the sun porch. You can put it in the freezer for about 20 minutes, and then you can work with it after that. But mine's going to go in the sun porch, and it's going to stay there all night, and I'll take care of it tomorrow morning. And that's it. And if you want, I can put this, I will put this recipe, and in fact, I'll do that right now. I will go put this recipe onto my website under the Christmas section. Christmas cookies. So... There you have it, and enjoy it. It's good. You can take, when you break it up, put it in a pretty little box with a bow, and it makes a beautiful gift, a wonderful gift. So there you have it, friends. Thanks for watching. All right. I started breaking this up and almost forgot to record it. I just break it in chunks. See how nice that is? Look at how nice that is. My, my, my. I put these in my... Oh, look at that big old piece. Mmm. Oh, if only you could taste this. This is fantastic. And so easy to make. And just break it up. That back peels right off. See that? There we go. Oh, look at how nice that does. There's really, you could cut it, but there's no need to. You just break it. Oh, that is so nice looking. It just comes right off. You could use aluminum foil too, but I just think this is better because, as I said before, I, I don't like cooking with aluminum foil, but you could. We'll get this all broke up. You might find a little piece of that paper here and there, but oh, this is going to be nice. Okay, friends, <clears throat> that's all there is to it. Cut it up in nice, or break it up in nice chunks, and put it on your tray. And they should have called it disappearing cracker taffy, because this wouldn't last long. That's for sure. Okay, there we have it. That simple, wonderful tasting. And I got it all on my plate. Put this aside. And look at there. Isn't that, isn't that something? And I'm going to eat this piece right here. Mmm. That is wonderful. Shame on me. My mouth is full. You can find this recipe on my website. And uh, thank you for watching. <laughs>